What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as Mental Illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how a narcissist reactions, how they react to you, tells you everything that you need to know. You just need to be very, very astute of their behaviors, observative. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe for more. That is a clear example that no one gets angrier than a guilty narcissistic person. And of course, if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I actually have narcissistic personality disorder. The whole video was her walking around with a phone recording him, asking her did he message his ex or he cheat on her or whatever. And he's just yelling and screaming at her, get out the house, I'm going to call the police on you. Just overreacting to the entire situation. I don't advise confronting a narcissistic person, toxic person or whatever, and accusing them of anything. Just, hey, I just need you to admit it. I have the proof. Just admit it. Because you do not need a confession from a narcissistic person. At the end of that video, he actually started getting physical with her because he didn't want to deal with the shame of being caught. When you catch a narcissistic person up, their, their reaction is going to be way bigger than the accusation. Hey, did you like that person's picture on Instagram? I saw I, it popped up in my timeline. Why are you so worried about me? Why are you, why, why are you, are you invading my privacy? Guilt bubbles to the surface super fast. So if they yell at you for asking a simple question, mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, y'all. So, we all know that no one gets angrier than a guilty narcissist. No one gets angrier than a guilty, toxic person. A person that is actually guilty of what they're, they are actually guilty of whatever you're accusing them of. They just don't come at you in a calm, collective manner. So, as the title states, in the, the very beginning of the video, I said, a narcissistic person's reactions will tell you everything that you need to know about that person. We'll tell you everything. We'll, we'll give you the answer that you're searching for. You know, they will, their reactions tell or the answer to your question or the accusation or the observation. Because I've said this before, no one gets angrier than a guilty narcissist. It, it, and it's absolutely true, y'all. It, it, it's absolutely true. They get mad at you. It, how dare you hold me accountable? At the beginning of that short video right there, y'all, you hear a guy screaming. He's like, no, I didn't have it. Holy God damn, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I didn't cheat with her. I didn't sleep with her. Leave me alone. The overreaction is the answer, y'all. Pay attention to how they react to your question. If you, if you ask them a question, let's say you catch them, you see some hard eyes on their phone or you notice that they're lying about a certain amount of money that they said they made or deposited or where, the, where, their, where their money is going or they, they kicked this addiction, that they stopped drinking or whatever. I thought you stopped drinking. Why are you questioning me? Whoa. Whoa, do you think that they, do you think that they actually stopped drinking or smoking with that type of reaction to your question? You know, you found an empty beer bottle in the trash can. So you go ask them, hey, I found an empty beer bottle in the trash can. Who, why, why does it have to be mine? It's probably yours. You such a drunk that you forgot you drunk it and threw it away. And it's only you two to live in the house. You see what I'm saying? Their reaction tells you everything that you need to know. An, overreact, an overreaction to a simple question or a simple observation is li literally, typically, an admission of guilt. This like body language, expressionism, their reactions tell you everything that you need to know about them. If they can't just like, oh, no, that's not mine. What are you talking about? I mean, they can still be lying with an underreaction. You know what I mean? They can still be lying even if they don't overreact. But a lot of times, if you're dealing with a person like in the beginning of this video, their overreactions, especially a ragey, out of control, emotionally unstable, narcissistic person, they're going to rage out at you, yell and scream at you. Or they're going, not only will they yell and scream at you, they'll give you the silent treatment. They'll stop, they'll stop talking to you out loud. You know what I mean? They'll do a lot of different things. They'll do everything other than just talk to you and work it out. I'll say that. You know, and that happens to a lot of people in these situations, y'all. And I repeatedly tell people, I'm like, hey, this is what's going to happen right here. This is what's going to happen. Hey, if you ask them about the cheating, you know, you, you'll see them, you, like, you, you'll catch them in the act, y'all. You will literally catch them in the act out in public cheating on you. And then you won't say anything. You won't confront them on the spot. But you'll get home and just say, hey, what you have dinner at today? Um, what, 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 hey, what you have lunch at today? You know, did you, did you have fun at lunch? Like, did you eat the, the, boxed, lunch, the, did you eat the boxed, lunch, boxed lunch and turkey sandwich that I packed you today? And they'll be like, yeah, why? Oh, because I thought I saw you downtown at, uh, at, uh, at Outback Steakhouse earlier. 
Why are you following me? It wasn't me. Why are you questioning why I my brother? Yeah, I ate the sandwich, but I was also hungry. You didn't make the sandwich big enough. Roar. Their reaction will tell you everything that you need to know, y'all. Just pay attention to the reaction. Again, y'all, and sometimes, y'all, you don't even, like, if you have proof, you don't even need to confront the person. That's why I just tell people all the time. Like, if you have an explosive, narcissistic person, a person that typically, a person that explodes on a consistent basis and cannot control their emotional reactions anyway, even if you have proof, it does not matter. It's still going to somehow, some way, shape, or form, be your fault. You know what I mean? Even if, even if you have proof of the, what they're doing, is somehow, some way, shape, or form, still going to be your fault? There, like, and I, I tell this to people all the time. People, like, some people listen, some people don't. You know, it's not up for me to decide who listens and who doesn't, because that's not me. You know, that's not responsibility. But I just tell this to people all the time. Just you know, watch the reactions. Watch how they listen. Listen to them. Narcissistic people want to tell on themselves, and they, some some of them are not good liars. I know people always say narcissists are master manipulators. Some narcissists are master manipulators. Some are not master manipulators. You have some you have some narcissists who are the master splinter from Ninja Turtles of manipulators. They are master manipulators, master splinter. And then you have some of them who are bebop and rock steady. You have some who are bebop and rock steady, who are just you know, henchmen, henchmen manipulators. They don't really know what they're doing. They're just throwing words out. They're just yelling and screaming and they're, they're just beating on their chest. They have no control over their emotional reaction, of their emotional state, of their mindset. Sometimes they'll go silent on you. Sometimes they'll give you the silent treatment. Sometimes they'll rage on you. Sometimes they'll ghost you. Sometimes they'll leave the house. I just need some space right now. Why, why do you need space? I just ask you a simple question. I just need some space right now. Can I not have some space? Are you that controlling over me? Blah, blah, blah. Watch their reactions. Listen to what they are saying, y'all. And that's why I just tell people, sometimes you don't even have to watch the reaction. If you have proof, if you have proof, you do not need you do not need to confront a narcissist. What what what, what do you expect? I mean, let me ask you this: What are you expecting to get from confronting a narcissist? What would you? We just want to know that we mattered. Yeah, yeah. You might have mattered in a different way. Well, what if you did? If what if you don't matter right now? What if you used to matter, but you don't matter right now? We just want we just want the truth. We want a confession. We want to know. We want to know that they're remorseful. They are not going to be remorseful. They are not. Somehow, some way, shape, or form, is going to be your fault. And I feel like the sooner you come to that conclusion, the, the faster you can start your healing journey, whether that means leaving this person or not, is up to you. you know, I don't tell everybody to leave, y'all. I just provide you enough information to make make a decision on your own. But anyways, y'all, I know y'all heard that beep a few seconds ago. I had to hop off of here and do a one-on-one. I still do my one-on-ones over Zoom. So if you're interested, interested in those, mentalhealness.net or the link is in the description of every video, y'all. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, as always, Mental Healness is out. Peace.